Hey guys, this is Eric back with another Final Cut uh, tutorial. This is going to be round tripping. And this is the power of round tripping and why Final Cut Studio is so good. I've got motion open here and I'm going to import a particle here, as you can see. A simple particle. Now I want this in my Final Cut Pro project. So what I'm going to do is, I want to save this. I want to save it as, I'm going to leave it as untitled for demonstration purposes. I'm going to save it to my desktop. Okay, now as you can see right here, I have this untitled project from Motion I just saved, the particle I just saved. Now I'm going to open up Final Cut Pro. I'm going to click on this part, I'm going to click on this project and Command Tab over to Final Cut Pro. Okay, I'm going to open it up. Now as you can see, I can drag and drop this project right in my Final Cut Studio or Final Cut Pro project, right? Okay. I'll drop it in right there and now you can see there it is okay now I know this is ugly I'm just showing you how this round tripping works say the client says okay that looks good man I like this but can we change that color no problem go back to motion and let's change the color of this we'll change it to say rainbow okay and we'll save it now we'll command tab back to Final Cut Pro and boom it automatically updates in Final Cut Pro. This is the power of round tripping. And it also, motion also round trips with After Effects. Um, if you all need to know how to do that, I can make a tutorial. It will update and round trip just like motion does with Final Cut Pro. It will do the same thing with After Effects. Motion and After Effects make a good team. So if you guys have any questions, get a hold of me. I'll help you out all I can. We'll see you next time.